is set in an area of gentrification and rising house prices. At the other end of the scale is Jaywick, officially the most deprived area of England. Yes, the Essex seaside town has become so run down, even the council admits that they're embarrassed. So can the latest rescue plan finally turn things around? Well, here's Fiona Foster. This is Jaywick, a once thriving seaside resort on the Essex coast. But like many of our coastal towns, it's fallen into a sad and sorry decline. And as if to hammer the point home, with above average unemployment and a large older population, Jaywick was recently declared the most deprived neighbourhood in England. I must admit, on a cold November day, there are pockets of it that are a bit depressing. Boarded up shops, a lot of potholes, in fact, altogether, the place reminds me a bit of a, a faded 1950s beauty queen who hasn't aged very well. But the seascapes here are lovely. And back in the 1930s, Londoners in need of fresh air flocked to this purpose-built resort. Today, many of the former holiday chalets are now permanent homes. Coralina moved here six years ago. What's it like being in somewhere that was never intended to be? a proper permanent home. For a one-person place, it's ideal. A whole family is another matter. <laughs> then you get really inventive. Coralina rents her home from a landlord who keeps it in tip-top shape, but says others aren't so lucky, adding to the air of overall neglect. We do have some rogue landlords. They have no interest in keeping the properties up to specifications and the tenant is not going to have any interest in looking after a dump if they're living in one. And for you, it must be a bit of a downer to go outside and see a sofa there and an old... It is if you've just... Rubbish there. Yeah, it's frustrating. We get people coming in fly-tipping from outside and they say, oh, Jaywick, it's a dump. It is not a dump. This is not on. We need better. And the people of Jaywick are uniting to stop the rot. So much so, they've spent £8,000 of National Lottery funding on this man, community planner Jim Boot. Now, the community has spent their money on you. Yes. <laughs> they could have spent it on something concrete. How much responsibility do you feel to get it right. It is a huge responsibility. Although we were asked to do this by the residents, they were also supported by Tendring District Council, Essex County Council, the Environment Agency. And they've all said, look, we really want to hear what the residents are after, and then we'll work to that plan. So today, Jim will hear firsthand from locals what they want for a better, brighter Jaywick. What would you like to see done? We need more shops and street lights put back on and all things like that. What would be your need top priority? a lot of money put into the development, um, the housing, the things on the beach for the children to do. You could do with a few more shops because everything's gone, you know? Everything is outside of the area. We need to bring the facilities, the schools and everything right into the centre of Jaywick and then build the community around it. Paul Price is leading the redevelopment for the local council. He admits Jaywick's been ignored for far too long. Looking at some of the roads, some of the property, you have to say, what on earth have successive councils been doing yep. to have ended up in that shameful state? Well, I think it's become a, an embarrassment to all the councils and to, to central government. We've now decided to take a different approach. Basically, you've been embarrassed into it, haven't you? Absolutely. It, it, it's a shameful position to be in. But we are determined to do something. We want new homes, good roads, good infrastructure. That will bring in things like the schools, the shops, the medical facilities that people desperately need here. The council plans to invest £7 million in Jaywick, starting with road repairs. Jim says he's successfully turned around the fortunes of other seaside towns, including Hastings and Eastbourne. So how does he rate his chances of succeeding in Jaywick? It's been a lot of discussion. How confident are you that you can translate that talk in, into something practical? You can never be sure, sure, but um, this process works. It's worked in plenty of other communities. There's no reason why, with the right people around the table, it can't work here as well. And the renewed interest in Jaywick has Coralina feeling more buoyant about its future too. There are so many people who love this area. 
There is a really excellent community spirit here. They don't want to see it fail. While undoing decades of decline may take years to achieve, you do get a sense that the winds of change are at last blowing some much-needed optimism Jaywick's way.